Yes, lad, what is going on? My name is Amy O'Donoghue. People call me Dr. Josh. <laughs> My name is Lewis O'Loughlin. My name is Isol Tozano. I'm Charlie O'Donovan. I'm Abdul Joe. I'm Scott Fagan. I'm Mark Henry. My name is Cormac Dalton. I'm Paul Byrne. I'm Mike Morgan. I'm Fourth and Runner. The Irish Hammer. My name is Brennan. I'm Brian Bay. It's Dash Bar. I am a triathlete. Craig Engels. Cheryl Nolan. Sean Donahue. John Rankin. I got 10th at the World Championships in 2019 in Doha. I'm doing great. Just happy to be on the podcast. I'm a Man, I'm a man United fan. Let's get into this episode of the podcast. Yes, lads. What is going on? Welcome to Season 3, Episode 25 of The Running Irishman. In this episode, we have um, we have a solo episode, actually. It's pretty much just an episode to, uh, to kind of just be catching up with... What's been going on in my training and um, kind of how the training has been going because I know, um, it kind of, you know, I was mentioning before that I wasn't gonna, you know, post a Monday episode of the podcast unless um, I really had something that I felt like I had to talk about. And over the past two weeks, I do. Um, so I'm just gonna take this opportunity. We don't have a guest this week, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to um post this episode on the for the Thursday, just kind of a full in depth episode, nothing nothing like just quickly going over the week of training. Um, it'll kind of just be you know a really really good episode talking about um all, all things all things training and everything that's been going on in my training recently and things that are coming up. And uh, yeah, so in, in terms of things that we'll be going over, we'll be talking about. Um, obviously, why I wasn't uploading the past few Sundays, even though I had something to talk about. Um, we also had a change in our rest day, uh, the day to change. I'm going to talk about why. Um, I'm, I also started back up on the, the steeple chase, so I'm going to talk about that. Um, I, I think I've a little bit of a niggle at the moment, so I'm going to get into that. I just ordered a new spice. I'm going to talk about which ones I got and why. And obviously... We have races coming up very, very soon. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be talking about that and how I feel for those, what they are and when are they. Um, so, yeah, there, that, that's kind of a brief overview of what I'm going to be talking about in this episode. We, for the week of training, it, this was last week's um training. And kind of in terms of what I had to talk about over the past few weeks is actually getting back into the steeplechase and that's what I kind of wanted to record over the past two weeks or maybe just one week because I was just talking about the steeplechase um, for the one week and I wouldn't have been you know um talking about the exact same sessions over two weeks so uh, why can't they missed out on one week or talking about what's going on in training and um that's just Last week is the week I wanted to record it and it just kind of slipped my mind, to be honest. I was out. Uh, I'm now actually on my summer holidays. So um, hopefully this is giving me obviously an opportunity now to um, to to really, you know, upload uh, upload more often. Obviously we have guests, get more guests on, but upload kind of these solo episodes of the podcast more often and talk more um, about the train. And so... Um, yeah, it kind of just slipped my mind last week, so that's why I didn't get a chance to do it, but we are doing it now. Um, Before we get into this week's training, obviously this was la- all last week's session, not two weeks ago, and I have no exact temperatures, but I have kind of written down here um what it was, like I have no like temps and humidity, I have kind of just what it was in terms of was it warm, was it track wet, was it rain, was it windy, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll jump straight into it, kind of to check one thing off the list so far is Monday it was our rest day. And kind of talking about why it is the rest day. So, um, this this is kind of two things to do with this has, um, the change in rest day and the steeplechase. Um, the steeplechase, uh, is a one reason why the change in the rest day for me is good. But the main reason that my coach changed it, uh, the Monday to the rest day, um, is because. On Thursdays, we have a hard 200 meter track session now, and um, usually we're just being a run over quarantine and over um, uh, cross country training. Uh, we just do a, a normal, easy, um, easy, steady paced run on um, on a Thursday, but now we're using it for 200s to get good, some speed into the legs or the track. And obviously, that session, I'll, I'll get more into the steeplechase and into the the um the 200 meter track session now in a minute but yeah this is the reason why the the 
rest day is changed because during the track session, during the 200 meter track session, you build up a lot of lactic acid in your legs. And um, the coach just wants us to do a nice, easy recovery run. Uh, then on the Friday, I do 30 minutes. It says anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. I just do a nice, easy 30 minutes just because we have then the, the session the next day. Um, just to kind of run all that lactic acid out of your leg, out of our legs, and um, to try and feel it that little bit better than for the uh, Saturday session. So that is the main reason. And uh, the steeplechase actually had nothing to do with my coach making this ex- decision. Um, but it just kind of worked out well because now I have two sessions at the weekend, which is quite tough as well as a long run. And um, so having this rest day on the Monday is really, really helpful then to prepare for then the session on the Tuesday. And from all these sessions I'm talking about, you might be thinking, you know, where's the mileage? The mileage has dropped drastically, which again, I'll get into later on into the episode. Um, but the intensity has gone up quite a lot. Um, so yeah, that is that is Monday. Um, uh, that's talking about why the rest day changed, and um, uh, yes, yeah, so it is now gone from Friday to Monday. Moving on to Tuesday, we had a track session. It wasn't raining or windy during the session, but during the day it was quite wet and windy. So um, that that is why uh, that is that. That is what I remember basically from, I don't remember obviously the exact temperatures and whatnot, but that is what I remember from last Tuesday. Um, we ended up doing a two sets of 4 by 400 and when you remember I mentioned that the intensity has um, has really gone up. This is where it's shown especially. Um, obviously the amount of hard sessions has gone up, but this session in particular, if you remember a few weeks ago we were doing... 10 by 400 and then 12 by 400 and before quarantine we're doing 14 by 400 which uh yeah it's it's a tough session but uh that's kind of just more for the endurance this session is really focused on speed and endurance so um we do four by 400 twice so two sets of four by 400 so eight all together um so we have a two minute break between each 400 and a five minute break between each set because for the first set we're going at 69 to 70 seconds per each 400 and then on the second set for the last four we are going 68 so um yeah it's quite it's quite an intense session um the the first few are always pretty bang on the last one is always about a 66 well i usually get a 66 some yeah, some lads get less, some lads get around the same, some lads get more. Um, but yeah, that's it's sixty five to sixty six usually for the last one. Um, sometimes we try to keep it steady. Sometimes depending how we feel, we go out hard in the last one. The first ones we do keep it nice and even, just so we're not dead for the rest of the session. Um, the last, the second last one is always about a sixty seven. Uh, just kind of wind it up then for the last one, and then um. It's all, all, yeah, pretty much hitting the spit perfectly, which is obviously ideal um, during during the course of the rest of the session. Um, so that is what we done on Tuesday. We done a 15-minute jog warm-up, stretches, strides, hurdle drills, and then a 15-minute jog cool-down after. Um, so yeah, wet track wasn't the best conditions, um, but a really, really solid session. This is, well, I've done, we've done the session three times now. I'm pretty sure this was the second time doing this session i think tuesday just gone for me now because it's obviously thursday now is um is the third time doing this session so it's a really really good one and it really does kind of get you in that race kind of mentality like if we can run 68 here over eight a four hundred even though there's the break you know doing doing like 70 odds for you know, a mile or whatnot will will kind of get us used to that to that pain during the sessions, which is um, which is yeah, really really helpful. Moving on then to Wednesday, it was warm, wasn't wet, wasn't windy, just normal, uh, normal weather. We done a forty five minute easy run recovery from Tuesday because now um, training is a lot more intense and there's a lot more sessions. Um, the runs are a lot slower. Um, the same, usually the same distance. Um, depending on the day. Um, the pace is a lot slower. The distance is a lot less. But you know, as I've mentioned in previous episodes of the podcast, you know, I'm not really too worried about. Uh, kind of about the, the pace and the distance I do now because it's just 
primarily for recovery. It's not a it's not really about getting that mileage in as well. It does kind of build up that strength going for the longer distance. You know, if I usually like during quarantine, if I wasn't getting ten k and if I was going like four fifty per kilometer, I was a bit like, oh, that's a bit that's a bit slow. Like, why was I like that today? Um, and I'd kind of be pushing the runs a bit, which I suppose for the time wasn't too bad, just because of the fact that it was only runs that I was doing, except for one day I had a session on the Saturday, so I suppose then it kind of let me, the runs I, I pushed a little bit more, because the intensity during the course of the week wasn't too 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 high at all, but now for the runs, it's like I really, kind of the slower I go, and f- the better I feel, the better, and um, because usually then the next day, like if you think about it, I have Monday rest day just because the day before was a run and a session, and the day after is a is is another session. Then Tuesday session, Wednesday run, but then the next day I have a session. Friday easy run, the next day I have a session. Saturday session, the next day I have a session, and an easy run. So. A lot of the easy runs are followed then by a hard session. So, kind of to in conclusion, I don't really mind when the runs are um are are slow because it, it, in in retrospect it's kind of helped me help me with the 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 session the next day. So I went eight point eight zero k at five or seven per kilometer hour uh, or five point seven four miles at eight fifteen per mile. Decent run. Um, again. Like I said, not too worried about the times or the distance. Legs obviously were a little bit tired from the session on Tuesday, but um, you know, really, really solid, really solid run overall. Moving on to Thursday, it was a bit rainier um during the session compared to Tuesday. Tuesday was just raining before the session, um, and the track was uh was wet, so especially for these two hundreds, you're trying to pick up that speed and uh, and you know you want that bounce off the track when it's wet. It doesn't kind of give you that bouncy responsiveness that that you want for a two hundred. So um, yeah, not not the best conditions, but uh, these sessions are always tough. You know, we done a fifty minute jog warm up, uh, drills and strides, uh, drill stretches and then strides, um, average about twenty nine to thirty for each, which I'm pretty happy with, um, not too bad whatsoever. Uh, and kind of kind of side note is that like at the end of these 200s I know in terms of like a 400 rep and a 200 rep like one to two seconds even three seconds is like is is quite a big deal um but like some some of these 400s like on the last one like if I'm getting like a a 60 like a 60 yard like a just say like a 65 I remember Tuesday just gone like yesterday uh, during the session, oh not yesterday, she was just gone, the day before yesterday, we got a 65 on the second one, or the second set, but we went through the first 231, and I know kind of we, we like slowed down and eased off on the last 150 to 100, but still, uh, the lack to just be burning, getting like a 29 to 30 on these, but then to get a 31, and feeling like not completely dead after the first 200, uh, for a four for an eight by four hundred meter session is just it's just mad to think and it kind of just shows that's kind of the mentality you're in like you know, uh you do a two hundred on a two hundred meter session you're like, oh this is all I have to do but then like the first two hundred of a four hundred meter session isn't that bad because you're still worried about the next two hundred coming up, um so yeah that was just kind of a quick side note that I kind of want to address for you know, what was going, what goes through my mind during these sessions, so, uh, yeah, kind of going back to the session, as I mentioned, these sessions are, are always quite hard, the lactic just be building up, like, mad in your legs, in my feet, um, but, you know, really solid session, really does help, A, get that burning lactic uh, feeling in your legs, and B, does uh, as well build up the speed quite nicely, so, um, yeah, a really, really solid session with then a 15-minute jog cool down. Moving on to Friday, again, kind of like Wednesday for the run, it was normal, just not warm, not cold, not windy, not breezy, nothing like that, it was just a um, nice easy session, uh, or not session, nice easy 30 minute recovery run, um, just to, again, ease out the legs for from the, the lactic acid that built up during the uh, during the, ter- the Thursday 200 metre track session, and um, 
So you're doing 30 minutes at 5.91k at 505 per kilometer or 3.67 miles at 8 minutes 11 seconds per mile. Just nothing too much, uh, nothing crazy to, to be talking about there. Just nice and easy recovery run. Moving on to Saturday, we were up on the grass in Abbottstown. Just kind of, we kind of keep one session usually on a Saturday on the grass um, just to, to keep building up that strength um, and keep that strength in the legs for the longer distances on the track. Um, the usual loop we do is an 800 meter loop with a hill, but that was blocked off because of doing some drainage work up in Abbottstown at the moment. Because like, if you've ever raced there, you know that when it rains, even like there's been times where we've gone up and it's been a really, really nice day. Kind of just like Saturday. It's been a really, really nice day, but because it was, it was raining the maybe the week one of the two of the days the week off it's still really really damp ground um where in some other places just like a track or a sanctuary park it's um it's uh yeah it's really it's it's really really not good drainage and we have someone in the chat here um cfc bros hello i'm not pre i'm not too sure if you're if you're um from youtube or for instagram but uh oh welcome you to the chat um but yeah um really Really was a warm session up on uh in Abbottstown on Saturday. Um, in terms of the the oh CFC bros is from YouTube. Well, welcome to the stream. Um, I don't know CFC is that Chelsea whoever that is. It, it could be someone I know. Um, but yeah, the loop we done then this week was a. It was pretty much it was a little bit of a slight gradient uphill for the first bit for maybe the first like um. 250 to 300 and then it was kind of a flat kind of gradual downhill then coming back around it was actually a pretty nice session um uh from from uh compared to like what we usually do up up in abbottstown with the with the hill and the 800 meters so um uh one of one of become famous boy followers poems and viewers uh join her don't want to subscribe to my youtube Okay, uh, CFC is from CFC Rose is from uh, YouTube. John Carter Dor Doran subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then we have a few. I don't know what they are. Bots are just random people in the in the chat saying want to become famous by followers, primes, and views on uh, a link there. Bigfollows dot com. Um, no, mate. I'll think I'll pass. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, kind of back to then Saturday session. Um. It was it wasn't too bad. It was as I mentioned, it was really hot. We done eight by six fifty and I got two oh three for the first two and then averaged about two oh eight for the for the next um well next five and then on the last one I got a two oh two on the last one with a fifteen minute jog cool down. Really solid session. I really liked it. It wasn't too like nothing crazy on the legs um compared to like with the big hill. Obviously the hill does build that little bit extra strength um but but this was just not even being on the grass and on the grass compared to the track does really build that strength so um yeah it was an absolute scorcher of a day on saturday and um a really really nice session overall um how can i be in the video with you um cfc bros i'm not too sure what you mean in terms of how we be in a video with me um but yeah, just just let me know what you mean. Um, yes. Yeah, so moving on to Sunday, another absolute scorcher of a day. Um, it was a track session and a run. Uh, we done this now was the first steeplechase. Well, no, this actually this this was the second steeplechase session that I've done. I done one two weeks ago. Um, a camera. How gonna be in the video with you, camera? I still. Still not too sure what you mean, man. So, uh, um, yeah. So, oh, it's EFC Bros, uh, not CFC. Um, yeah, man. How can I be in a video with you, camera? Yeah, no, I'm not too sure, uh, what you mean. But you know, thanks, thanks for being here. If you want to ask a question or something, I'll, I'll have no problem answering it. Um, but yeah. So, second Steeple Chase session back last Sunday. Um, back at the hurdles, it was an absolute, as I mentioned, absolute scorcher two weeks ago. It was lashing rain, so it was a drastic change in, in in temperature and in weather compared to the two weeks. Um, 
real quick before I move on, all the stuff in the chat, even if there's a guest or if it's me and my own, I am going to keep in the YouTube video because I want to keep it, you know, authentic. If people are talking in the chat or someone comes along and asks a question, I do want to keep it in the video. Um, just so, yeah, as you know, it's it's kind of as authentic, um, you know, as uh, as as it is. Um, do you have Instagram? Yes, I do. It is the run Irishman the official uh, over on Instagram. Um, so yeah, Sunday it was an absolute scorch. It was really hot. After the first one, I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to do this because you know the track it really like absorbs the heat, and then when you run off it, just bounces and hits you back into the face. Um, so yeah, it was we done a two two lap jog of the track with some uh drills, uh strides and um stretches, and then we ended up doing an eight by four hundred meter hurdle session i averaged 78 uh for for pretty much all of them which i'm really really happy with um you know what last year when i was doing the hurdles i was getting i was getting about like uh 80 trees um but this is just shown like with the base training i done over the quarantine and the intense track work we're doing at the moment my my actual speed even with the hurdles my actual speed and fitness and endurance on the track is um is it has been coming along really really well and even the coaches say my form on the track has has come along a long long way and um it, and then the form over the herd as well comes with that as well and he said that's come on a lot as well so that obviously has helped in the times over the hurdles um efc rose do you have tiktok not well i, I have tiktok i watch it but i don't make tiktoks um I went a while where I'd post a few about the episodes of the podcast. Um but yeah, no, I, I don't I, I might start actually um, you know, getting clips from the podcast, like if I've if I've uh, a guest on or whatnot, I might actually start just um uh, getting clips from that, like, you know, really good things. Maybe like if someone said a joke or someone said maybe something controversial, getting them clips and putting them into a TikTok and posting them then to try and, you know, expand. Um, but other than that, no, I do not have TikTok. Oh, Miguel, what is up, Oren? How are you, man? Um, uh, two hundred tonight. Yeah, no, it should be, it should be all right. Uh, weather's not too bad. My legs are actually a bit sore. I'll, I'll get into that now when when talking about the niggle. But um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll I'll see you there tonight. Um, so yeah, we're worried. We're, we're in talking about the the session with the hurdles. So we done a forty five minute jog and recovery run with the lads after that. Um, it was just nice and easy. Usually I do an hour, but after that, um, I I had to get the bus out to training, so I got there a few minutes late. So our booking on the track would we we didn't have time to do a fifteen minute warm up jog. We just had to do two laps of the track. Um, so yeah, we just ended up doing that. So I just ended up doing forty five minutes. Um, with the lads, you know, after the after the trek session, just something nice and easy. We went eight point three three k at five twenty four per kilometer, or five point one eight miles at eight forty two per mile. So, really, really slow. Um, it felt nice, and I felt good having the lads there because the first week, I am um, doing the track the steeplechase session on my own. It was lashing rain, and I didn't know one to do forty five minutes with after. So, um, yeah, that wasn't great. But this week in the heat, it was really nice having the lads there. Um, but you know, I was really, really happy with this session, and I was really even happy with the with the first session that I done. Um, even though it was lashing rain two weeks ago doing it, and my times weren't as good, I was still, I'm still really, really happy where it's going. And and when I get talking about into races now in a minute, um, hopefully, um, I'll, I'll have have the chance to run a steeplechase race this year. So so fingers crossed. But yeah. Quick recap over that we done this average seventy eight with seventy six on the last one. Remember that is with the hurdles. So, uh, a you need to go out a little bit more conservative, and b your times usually just won't be as fast per lap compared to like the Tuesday session we were getting sixty eight to seventy per four hundred. So um, see so yeah, I'm not really really happy with it. So that is kind of all last week's training in terms of total kilometers. It was thirty six point six four k or twenty two point seven six miles. Again, absolutely nothing crazy. Um, I doubt I'd be breaking my highest ever week of mileage. It was just like sixty four k over uh over quarantine because I was literally doing just all runs except for one session during the week. Um, but like I mentioned before, this is this the training we're doing is just high high intensity workouts. Um, with 
with just easy recovery runs in between. So um, I feel like it is really, really working for me, even if my legs do feel a little bit worse on the runs and a little bit worse day to day. I know when it comes to races, that intensity in training will have really, really paid off. So um, yeah, not too worried about the mileage at the moment, just because I know how high the intensity um, how the intensity, how high the intensity is at the moment. Um, moving on to, uh, if you men- remember, I mentioned at the beginning of the episode we had a few things to get through. So I mentioned the not uploading episodes in a while, uh, changing rest day, and boy, I mentioned that. Um, starting up steeple chase, I uh, I mentioned that. The, I talked about the session we done this week and last week, and hopefully, um, we'll get a few races. Now I'm gonna talk about. Uh, the niggles and I'm also going to talk about uh, the the races we have coming up Um, I also mentioned spikes uh, new spikes that I got but the, the spikes and the niggle kind of uh, interlink a little bit so um, yeah we will move on to the niggle and the spikes so um, I did last night I did order brand new spikes I think they're the zoom zoom d10s the night zoom d10s in the orange colorway um, uh, the reason is a the spikes I have at the moment are a size a half a size too small, so um they aren't they aren't the best fit on my feet. Um B because there is actually a, a tear in the left one, just a little tear along the side. Uh C it on the left spike there's a there's like a blunt one, there's like a really blunt one that I can't get out with the key. Um so that's that's kind of uh, that's kind of linking in as well with the niggle that I'll get more into. It's actually the spikes themselves that I think are causing the niggle, like the actual spike, not the shoe, even though the shoe is in good condition and it's a bit small. Um, and see, I know instead of like buying just a brand new pair of spikes, I could have just got the actual spike. Um, but I have like, I think I've like three mil, there are the three or four mil in the right one at the moment, but I don't have enough. I don't know how, I don't have enough um of the of the spikes that are in the right one at the moment. I'm not sure if they are three or five mil. I think they could be three. Because they are really small. Um uh, in I don't have enough to uh put them into the I don't have enough to put them into the into the left spike and um you know thanks EFC Bros and Arm again there for, for the follows I I do appreciate it. I need to kinda of get alerts or something for the stream um for when or or the chat you know a chat overlay or alerts or something or music in the background. Um but yeah no I do appreciate them them two follows there. Um but yeah and, and so last night I changed the spikes and the ones I have now realized I didn't have enough um of the three mils to put into the left spike so the ones in the left one are the ones there's like one or two of the new three mils in there and then the rest are the ones that came with the spike initially which are pretty much the same size as the other ones but the other ones because they're sharper they're, they are they are it is a bit higher up as well as that, with the left one having the blunt one in it, when I when I land, it's my foot is kind of it, it's kind of moving about. Um, it's not it's not a stable landing. It's not like plant plant plant. It's kind of plant jiggle plant jiggle. Even on this one, especially on the right one. Um, when I when the spikes before last night when I changed up the spikes in them because that one was actually missing. Was actually missing spikes. So these spikes altogether were just just not ideal. Actually, if you wait there, I will get the I'll get them now. So I have the spikes here. This is the left one. It's actually the left one which got the the new the new um the the new tree mills into this so I'll bring the mic over here so if you can see um for the people watching this for the people listening at home you're just gonna have to uh, you can go down to the show notes you can come over and, uh, to YouTube do an Irish one over on YouTube to check this bit out but it should be fine so you can see there I think they are tree mills um they could be tree mills I think they are uh, this one is the left one that has all the spikes in it this one was missing from it so when I was planting it was there was a bit of movement uh. A few of them were really, really blunt compared to others, so that was obviously causing a bit of unbalance. Um, you know, not being, not being as, um, uh, not being as balanced as I'd like it to be. EFC, bro, can I play my guitar for you? Um, uh, I feel like taking the fist, but it doesn't matter if you if you want. Um, 
uh but yeah so i got all of the three mils into this this is actually the one with the little bit of the hair in it you can i don't know if you can see that that tear there um see so yeah, this one isn't in too bad condition bit dirty the tear um changed out the spikes and it is a little bit small and um, but then if we get out this one is where the real problems start um so you can see there if anyone knows how to take out a really blunt spike do tell me because i'll sell these on or um give them give them up to the club or whatever so there's the blunt the blunt spike um what size are you uh, these are a size seven and a half but i am now about an eight ish that's the size i ordered uh i, I ordered the new spikes efc bros how um how what how how can how can you play my guitar for you how you can play your guitar for me um but yeah so you can see first of all you have the blunt spike here this this one here and this one here are the newer tree mills they are a little bit used but compared to like the other ones these black ones here along the side and up the top are the ones that initially came in the spike um which aren't that much smaller compared to um Vaseline might loosen it up um yeah it uh, I don't know like loosening it up I don't think is the problem it's the the spike key if you see it there the spike key literally just won't get a grip onto it if you can see it there um so yeah that is the story with these this is all just kind of talking about why I um why I need to get new spikes but uh yeah I know even though these spikes in the in the shoe at the moment aren't as aren't too small compared to compared to the ones i have in at the moment if you can kind of see the difference there it's just these are little uh these ones are a little bit sharper in the left ones so it um it it, it does they do like you know you can feel you can feel these more protruding compared to these because these are a little bit more blunt um see so yeah, that is a reason why i i need to get a new pair of spikes and also why um i think have been giving me a little bit of a niggle just because as i mentioned when i've been planting before i put the new spikes in last night i had one missing the one blunt one and they're all like not different sizes but different kind of sharpness um so when i was planting on each foot my foot you know there wasn't that stability there wasn't that like you know the toughness where you plant and then plant and then plant and then plant it was planting and my foot was moving and it was putting strain on my lower calf which where the pain is on both of my legs um which i then on my left one is kind of going down to the back of my foot a little bit it's not too bad like when i start running um i can feel it but then as i progress on with the run or with the session it does end up going away for tonight's session though even though i changed out the spikes in them because they're all completely different and my spikes will be arriving next tuesday so until then i'll only have two track sessions and actually have a race next tuesday and um, but because i'll only have two track sessions before then uh tonight and sunday um i think i'll just gonna i'm just gonna be using my um my nike flats um but yeah that is that is the reason why i need a new spikes and i got the orange colorway of the zoom of the nike zoom uh d10s i'm pretty sure is what they're called um so yeah they'll be arriving next year's so just the day of the race which is really 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 exciting obviously and um yeah that is a niggle i'm gonna foam roll it out put a bit of dp on it before today's session um after today's session also as well just for that recovery try and try and get it as best as i can before the race next tuesday um and in terms of races and the race next tuesday the race next tuesday is going back to them uh club races that we've had if you remember the 3k the first 5k i've ever done on the track and um an 800 that i done last year that i've actually spoken about on the podcast last year um is, is kind of what's going to be happening on tuesday there's no other clubs it's just for members within clon lift uh, it's nothing it's just kind of like a bit of a a little bit of a rust buster to to get the legs back into and and the and the mind back into race mode um before before the dublins and I think I might be running in the AAI games or the AII games. I can't remember what the abbreviation is. I think it's the AAI games where hopefully I'll be running the steeplechase. Um, and uh, also in the 17th, 18th and 19th of July where um, hopefully I'll be running the steeplechase as well in the Dublins to um, to qualify for the All-Ireland. So um, yeah, in terms of races, 
Um, kind of that, that links into the question of the week is what races do I have coming up and when are they? So first race back next Tuesday and it's kind of like the no prize meets win the club which I'm looking forward to. Then the 17th, 18th and 19th of July we have the Dublins and then before that if I'm racing in the AAI games um, I'll, I'll be hopefully running the steeplechase then so hopefully I can get some more good um steeplechase sessions in before then uh, and uh, yeah really really looking forward to, to races coming up if I can get rid of this nickel nickel niggle and um uh, kind of just you know stay stay as healthy as possible I will then um be be really good for, looking forward to and uh, thinking I'm in a good shot of competing in these races because as I mentioned, I have a really, really good basis over quarantine where I've been doing really high mileage and then um, uh, and then this intensity and this uh, high intense training and strength training we've been doing and uh, speed training that we've been doing, you know, is, is really going to do me well um, it, for, for races, which I'm really, really looking forward to. So, lads, this has been um, quite, quite an informative episode in terms of how training's been going, the niggle, the spikes, the... the um, the steeplechase and, and races and whatnot. So, you know, look, really, really looking forward to, to races and um, training in the future. Hopefully, again, I can I can stay I can stay as healthy as possible and um, continue to to grind and get these good training sessions in. So, um, hopefully for the lads and people that were watching the stream and for people that watch this episode when it hopefully goes live today at six o'clock. So the day I'm recording this, hopefully it's the day it goes live. Um. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully you all enjoyed. Um, links to if you've been if you're watching this or listening to this, um, links to the Twitch on TV forward slash Run Irishman one down in the show notes and in the description. Also, links to um the Run Irishman the official Instagram and the Patreon if you want to help support the podcast are all down in the description and in the show notes as well. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.